Hey guys, welcome back to a long overdue Red Beard Outdoors episode. Kelly and I have been so busy that I have not been able to make a video in a very long time. And so I wanted to give you guys an update of what we've been up to and why I haven't been able to make a video. As you guys can tell by the title of this video, we are now full-time RVers and I'm actually inside our living quarters on our new giant horse trailer. So um, anyways, I'm going to give you a rundown of what we've been up to and how we became full-time RVers. And I got my handy dandy list here because uh, so much has happened, I had to write it all down. So where we left off last was last winter uh, where we finished up at winter camp. When we left winter camp, we came home with a new dog named Redo. It is Duck's sister bred to Reason's brother. So that's how we ended up with Redo. And you'll see her on our line coming up in video shortly. We ran over to the Irish Setter Club of Greater Tulsa. Uh, we didn't do very well there, so there's no footage there, but uh, Kelly ended up tearing a ligament in her finger, trying to pull a horse stick out, out of the ground. So that's fun. It was actually her ring finger. When we got back from Tulsa, we started prepping for uh, getting married and getting the venue, getting food, doing all that fun stuff. And uh, we both had uh, bachelor and bachelorette parties. And then on May 28th of this year, we ended up getting married. And then right after that, we ran down to the, the ISCA National Specialty, which is the National for Show Dogs, uh, Irish Setter Show Dogs. Uh, so Kelly uh, attended that and did her duties there. And uh, while we were up there, we ended up um, having a small little honeymoon up at Estes Park where we did some fly fishing. Uh, I do have video on that, so stay tuned for that. Um, and when we came home from that, we had to come back to a tornado that ripped through our uh, little town here. Um, luckily, it did not hit the house. It messed up the roof pretty well um, and broke a, broke a lot of trees and branches. So there's a lot of cleanup to do once we got home from that. And unfortunately, it really uh, kind of made us a lot busier because at this time we were starting to prep to sell our house and so between cleanup and prepping to sell our house and become full-time RVers we we had a lot of work to do uh, which is part of the reason I couldn't make videos but um, we sold a lot of stuff on Facebook marketplace and I will say that going on this journey it'll be really hard to make this transition. It's not an easy process. Um, you don't realize how much stuff you have until you go through this process and have to purge everything. So a good majority of everything ended up in the trash. Um, just stuff that you've held on to over the years for so long that you don't need anymore or you haven't touched it in over 10 years and it's really hard sorting through all that and deciding what you don't want, what you need, and what you're going to sell. We ended up selling most of everything. And uh, what we did keep, we ended up getting a large storage unit to store everything in. One day we'll have to uh, 
work on that storage unit some more and, and even purge it down some more because uh, everything was kind of done in a hurry and really thrown into that storage unit. Um, so eventually we will do some more purging and try to get that storage unit down, uh, get some more room in there and uh, or maybe even rent a smaller storage unit if we're lucky. Um, I also had to get a second storage unit. I wasn't able to part with my boat. Uh, my boat's very sentimental to me. It was my grandfather's boat. And so what I did was I ended up putting it in a storage unit down near Grand Lake, Oklahoma. As you guys know, if you follow the channel, I do a lot of fishing down there. So uh, when I'm camping down there, visiting family, I'll be able to go fishing down there. So that'll be nice. During all the house prepping, we also knew that we couldn't live full time in our current horse trailer. And so we ended up selling uh, a, a car, a van, a truck, and our old horse trailer. I had shopped around a lot on Facebook Marketplace. Actually, uh, Horse Trailer World and, you know, Facebook uh, forums uh, for selling horse trailers. And we came across the unicorn. Um, I'm not going to go into that too much right now. I'll save that for a future video. But uh, we bought a new horse trailer up in North Dakota. That's where we found it. Um, and then I shopped all over the country for another rare unicorn truck. And it took forever and a lot of negotiating. But I ended up finding a Ram 5500 Limited Cummins diesel truck with the long wheelbase and it has a huge uh, storage bed on the back of it so I will also be doing a video on that soon. Uh, before I had a, a mobile internet and that was our full-time internet and it wasn't really reliable. Um, had a lot of issues with the company and or trying to catch cell service in certain areas and at the time Starling came out with a full-time RVer bundle and uh, I had some concerns about Starlink uh, cloudy days trees uh, trying to find open areas to put the satellite um, but I came up with a lot of ideas in my mind and figured out how to make it work um, on cloudy days Starlink still works and uh, trees are an issue but I have a method to um, getting that clear of the trees so I'll do a video on that in the future too but it, long story short is we we ended up getting Starlink internet and it has been way better than the mobile internet source that I, I used to have so pretty happy with that buy so far and I've had it for about half a year now. So it's really uh, paid off. Now that I have our new horse trailer, being that we were going to be full-time RVers, I needed to build an office, which is right over here next to me. Um, I'm not gonna show you right now, but I built a pretty nice office setup so that I can work in here. And that's part of the reason we got the Starlink internet is so I can work for remotely full-time and be able to do my job. During all this, you know, with that tornado, um, and we had some really bad storms back in December, my my roof on my house is pretty jacked up, and I had to uh, get my roof replaced uh, before I sold it, so that just helped the resale value of the house. So uh, shortly after the roof was done, we uh, went on the market with a very nice asking price and within a day and a half we got asking price and ended up closing on the house and uh, this was back in late mid July and we sold at the peak of the market like you couldn't have asked for a better time and so we came out pretty good on the house ended up making money on the, the van truck trailer and house so we ended up doing everything at, at the perfect time to 
to be able to go full-time RVing. So I, it couldn't have worked out any better than how it did. So yeah, now that the house is sold, we're full-time RVers now. We strictly live inside this trailer now and we live wherever we want to. Um, so first up, we went to a summer camp in Nebraska and we were there for a little while, a um, couple weeks or so. And while we were there, Reason got sprayed by a skunk. Uh, so um, she didn't get to come in here too much. After that, uh, we ran up to South Dakota where we established residency by getting a, an address. And the company we used up there is called America's Mailbox. It gives us a physical address for our mail to be delivered to. That was a pretty simple process. You had to stay the night in their parking lot. That one overnight stay gave you South Dakota residency. You took that receipt to when you went and got your driver's license so you could prove that you're a South Dakota residence and, and then also uh, show them your, your new mailbox address. I'll get into that a little bit more later. Uh, yeah, so we got the address and decided to hold off on everything else because we weren't ready yet. But uh, we went ahead and bought a four-wheeler while we were there in South Dakota. I will do a full video on this later. <laughs> the reason we did it there was because the sales tax in South Dakota is only 4%. So that was pretty nice. Just got our new four-wheeler. She fits in here pretty good. Pretty snug, but um, it's the smallest four-wheeler option we could find. That wasn't a little kid's one. Honda Recon 250. Pretty excited. So we went back to summer camp and trained some more. And while we were there, equine cool came out and we had our roof coated with their material that helps reflect sunlight away from your horse trailer whereas the aluminum really soaks it all in um, the beauty of this reflecting it all away it keeps your horse trailer cooler your ac doesn't work as hard another beauty of equine cool is how it's able to keep the livestock in the back a lot cooler so it's not as hot back there. We actually experienced a 107 degree day this summer out at summer camp. So that was a pretty tough day uh, on everything. The horse trailer, you know, full time RV living and everything. But once we got through that day, we got the equine cool on there and it's made a huge difference. So we're pretty happy with, with that those results. I'll put a link to their website in the description below and uh if you're thinking about getting it i would highly recommend it some other things i did at summer camp i had to put lights on the trailer as always so we got a pretty good light system going on i'll show you guys that in the future uh we put a camera in on the horses so we could watch them driving down the road and we put a backup camera on the horse trailer for backing in the spots and for watching traffic behind us when people are tailgating us too much so it's been a real nice add-on for that and I'll, I'll give you a full tour on that in the future too for some reason we acqu we acquired a pointer puppy that's a long story I'm not going to get into but uh, we now have a pointer puppy we really don't know what its future holds but uh, I'm sure we're going to field trial with it uh, a little bit and see how she does so I'll have a little bit of videos on summer camp in the future, um, but not too many like normal. Uh, it was a hot, dry uh, year, not too much bird work, but uh, it was very productive with Neo and uh, we ended up getting her broke there. So super thrilled about that. And then shortly after summer camp, Neo came in the heat and we ran back to Kansas and dropped her off in Abilene to have her artificially inseminated by a deceased dog named EJ and um, she's pregnant right now and uh, I'll have more on that soon <laughs> um, once we got done with her we ran up to uh, Branched Oak 
near Lincoln, Nebraska, where Kelly judged. And then we ran back to South Dakota, uh, Rapid City area, and I got the truck and trailer weighed. I had to weigh the truck by itself and the trailer by itself. And, and then went and got them tagged at the DMV. While I was there, I had, had to pay a 4% sales tax on the truck, trailer, and four-wheeler. And I was very happy with the price of that because 4% is way better than what Kansas is. I also went and got a South Dakota driver's license. I needed that address, that overnight stay, a birth certificate, a certified birth certificate, not the one you get from the hospital, but a state issued birth certificate and a social security card, which is an insane amount of work to get a driver's license, but that's how I got my South Dakota driver's license. After that, we were truly full-time RVers at that point. Uh, we all the paperwork, all the tagging and everything was official. Once we had everything wrapped up in Rapid City, we went on to Valentine, Nebraska, where Kelly had another judging assignment for the Brittany Club. And then we went on to Linden, Colorado, where we competed at a field trial there. Um, I will have some footage on this in the future. We did okay, but the drought this year in the Midwest uh, just made for awful conditions. Um, it was so dry and dusty out there. It was crazy. And that was kind of our first experience with how easy uh, the trailer could get dirty from dust. Because there's so much dust out there. It was insane. From there, we went to uh, Loveland, Colorado. Hung out for a little bit. Uh, we had to get maintenance done on our gas generator, four-wheeler, and the truck. And uh, we hung out with some family there and got a little bit of downtime. And then from there, we went to uh, Scott City, Kansas, where I hung out with my brother and his wife and my nephew. We had some time, we had some good downtime there too. And then we had to run back to uh, Manhattan very quickly, where we got Neo back. Uh, she had been in Abilene this whole time, so we got her back. And then we hightailed it over to Grove Springs, Missouri. And um, we didn't do very well there either. Um, there won't be any video footage on that because uh, it was not a very productive field trial. But um, the conditions there were really dry and, and hot. So it really wasn't great field trial conditions. Then we decided from there that we would drive down to Nola, Oklahoma. Same situation. Dry, dry, drought, windy conditions with not very much bird work. It was crazy. We had a very scary accident happen there. Kelly flew off her horse and landed on her head and shoulder and it knocked her unconscious. and. Um, scared the crap out of me that was a big ordeal took her to the hospital but everything turned out okay she's doing fine she's still a little sore from it actually it's been I don't know four weeks or so now she's still pretty sore from it but uh she is recovering since Kelly flew off her horse I had to handle Delta I actually got her into a covey of quail finished the brace and we ended up winning we we're the only dog that had birds the whole field trial. That was a uh, pretty awesome deal. Glad I was able to step up and fill in for Kelly in that situation. From there, we went to Boonville, Arkansas. For those of you that follow us on Facebook, you guys know that we did very well there. I have a lot of videos put together, um, but we'll have those soon. I'm not gonna give anything away yet, but uh, we did really well there. But while we were there, we did a breeding with our dog Griffin here. Griffin. And um, he was bred to a dog named Jazz. So got some exciting puppies coming up there, hopefully. I flew off a horse. Um, 
short version of it is I flew off and cracked a rib over here, which I am still recovering from. So Kelly and I both flew off a horse recently. It hasn't been fun. And then um, one of the worst things ever happened at Boonville this year. You know, we had all this winning, but uh, uh, Melody, our horse, broke her leg and ended up passing away. Uh, we had to put her down. So that was a really tough time for us. Um, and now we're only down to two horses. So our uh, horsepower is getting a little weak and we're probably gonna have to look for a new one. Um, but that'll be sometime in the far future, I hope. So after dealing with that heartache, we ran over to Pinckneyville, had a good go there. Um, I have some video footage on that. I'm, I'm gonna put together a video. It was a tough situation, but our boy Griffin here did a good job. And I actually don't have a video on this, so Griffin ended up winning the red setter walking. Excited about that? Huh? Huh, Griff? Yeah? Yeah? Once we finished up there, we woke up to two inches of snow. And this is the first uh, winter experience we're having with uh, the RV lifestyle, so pretty crazy. We drove home from there, home being Manhattan. So we came back to Kansas where uh, we are currently set up shop right now. And uh, we're gonna get ready for Neo and, and her babies that are soon to come. So I will keep you guys informed on, on what happens with with uh, my baby girl, Neo. So yeah, I'm sure I missed a lot of stuff, but that's it in a nutshell. That's what we've been up to. Very, very busy year. And I'm sorry I haven't been able to produce as many videos as usual. Uh, these videos take a lot of work and a lot of time. So that's just something I didn't have this year. And I'm sorry in advance, but I have a ton of back footage that is uh, stored on my computer and ready for ready to go. It's on standby and I just got to get it edited and, and ready for you guys. I also had an issue with my computer, had had an issue and I ended up doing a factory restart with it. I think I got it all fixed now. So I can actually edit videos now. So I'm going to work on pumping these videos out for you guys. We got some downtime now. We're, we're done field trialing for a little bit. Uh, it is hunting season, but um, hopefully maybe I have some time to, to go hunting, but we'll see. Uh, I know Kelly's going to go for sure, but I'll probably be working. So lots of videos coming up. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Remember, get outdoors and keep RVing. We'll see you guys on the next Red Beard Outdoors episode. And I'll give you guys an update on our new truck and trailer and we'll have a lot of Boonville videos coming up for you soon. I know you guys are always looking forward to that. So I'll see you guys next time.